Hi, I'm Alex and today we're going to be looking at the Jill Thompson Effect Lab for FIS 3113. Now in this lab we have two sources of gas, nitrogen and carbon dioxide, which are fed from tanks outside the lab, which we'll be using to supply our tube, our Jill Thompson apparatus, to vary the pressure and then we'll measure the change in temperature as a result of the change in pressure. So our experimental setup consists of our two gas supply valves, which we can vary the pressure in our tube using, as well as the gas selector valve. This allows us to select which gas we're going to be using for the certain experiment. Following that, we have our Joule Thompson apparatus. This has a tube, a heat exchanger, and two temperature probes, which are connected to our temperature meter here. Furthermore, the pressure in our tube is measured by the manometer in bars. To perform this lab, we need to supply our tube with the gas from the two supplies. The pressure of the tube is measured by the manometer, and the temperature is measured by the two probes here, which are then connected to our temperature meter. So for each bar value or pressure value, we need to wait 90 seconds to allow for our system to go into thermal equilibrium before we can take a measurement of our change in temperature. Due to the nature of the temperature meter having quite a low resolution, there is quite a high fluctuation in values as you can see here, so our uncertainties will be the variation in the value fluctuation.